Yeah, first part of the week, uh, I booked two loads out of uh, Statesville up to uh, Crystal Hill, Virginia. And uh, they's paying like five, like five, 10 a mile. So um, the first load I, I run it up there <clears throat> and I ended up getting there late and uh, they wasn't gonna unload me because they stopped receiving at four unless you're getting per, you know reloaded. So uh, broker, he ended up uh, calling corporate. They got me in there and unloaded me. Uh, so it was late in the evening, and uh, if I would have stayed over and tried to find me something back to Statesville, it was about 160 miles, uh, then uh, I would have missed my pickup on uh, Wednesday. So I just deadheaded on back, stayed at the house, run over to Statesville on uh, Wednesday morning and grabbed it up, and I run up there and uh, dropped it off. Got that done about lunchtime. Uh, so whenever I left there, I booked a load out of uh, Roxboro, North Carolina, and run it up to uh, Rocky Mount, Virginia, and stayed there at that facility overnight. And uh, got it offloaded about 7 a.m. the next morning, uh, and then run from Rocky Mount over to Floyd, Virginia, which is where this video will pick up from there. Woo! Talk about a wild ride, come on. Oh, my hat's on the curtain, come on. Anyway, we up here in uh, Floyd, Virginia, uh, just east of uh, uh, Hillsville and Galax area. Well, we're gonna be picking up some crane mats like that gentleman's got on his truck. That's him right over there. We're gonna be running them down to Gainesville, Georgia. But, uh, boy, coming across that mountain, that's some tight curves uh, coming over from Danville to Floyd. But luckily, it's gonna be a little easier going back out. We're gonna run 221 up here and over to 77 and head down 85. Uh, hopefully, if I get loaded up here pretty quick, I can get this one off uh, today. Hopefully, get something else on my back, headed back north toward the house. So, we'll keep it posted later. <laughs> All right, I got these load of crane mats out of Floyd, Virginia. Um, so there's a pipeline that they're putting in. So I believe I'm the second truck here. Hey, bud, we got this all set up for you, man. Uh, you can pull right on down in there. Yeah, I did a little ass chewing on how they need to set shit up for semis, but we got down in here. But uh, let me get out so you can see where I get to turn around. I had to come down that narrow ass little road right there. We are gonna turn around out there in that damn field. But I already had them run the low and shit around out there make sure it's good and solid. I told them they better make sure they got a chain or they gonna pay a hefty tow bill. But I told them they need to get somebody in here to mow that shit down if they gonna have trucks coming down in here to get their crap together. So anyway, they're about done unloading this and uh, you'll get an update from me uh, later how it all went. All right, uh, we got them crane mats off yesterday and uh, we got back, got out of that hole. Um, I booked me a load on the way down uh, yesterday out of Pendergrass, Georgia, but uh, couldn't pick it up till this morning. Uh, at seven o'clock, gotta be back in Charlotte by 11. So I got here at six. Called a guy yesterday, he said, uh, if I was here before seven, there's a couple guys here, they, they go ahead and throw it on there. So hopefully uh, Kenny will be in here uh, in the next few minutes so we can get this, get this loaded up and get out of here. But, um, truck stop was full last night <clears throat> and this is where it works out to have friends and family in low places uh, so um, I was about 45 minutes from uh, my wife's cousin's house so I guess that makes her a cousin-in-law <laughs> but anyway uh, 
so I rode over rode over to her place and it so happens to um, be an old truck wash and drive-in theater area where her apartment's at so there was plenty of truck parking so uh, she let me shower her place last night and uh, she run me down a cheddar so I can get me a big old steak pitcher and uh, <laughs> so uh, and I got me some good rest and got up and got over here this morning so yeah I'm hoping I can get this one up to Charlotte get it off my back by 11 and uh, maybe find me a preload for the weekend but anyway y'all stay tuned see ya I don't know how well you see that in the sun, but got that load of sheet steel right there on I just brought up out of Georgia. But uh you know, we had a little difficulty on the way up. Just cruising right along, minding my own business. Boom! And uh had to replace two tires there. So, uh, yeah, $512, but, uh, that's flatbed. But we made it here. We about a half hour late for our appointment. Everybody's at lunch. So we're going to sit up in here in the cab. Kind of chill out for a little bit. <sighs> Wife should be calling here in about a half hour. Maybe sooner than that. But anyway, uh, we're going to try to find us a preload for Monday right quick on the board. So, check you later. All right, well, we found us a preload for, for Monday. Uh, got us a load of brick going down to Duluth, Georgia. And I've already booked me a load out of... Uh, some wacky ass town down there in Georgia, <laughs> back up to Mooresville, uh, Mooresboro, North Carolina. So uh, I'm getting a, later on this evening, I'm gonna throw a tarp over that stuff there, uh, just for uh, precautionary. But uh, yeah, we got us preload for Monday, so uh, everything going good. I hope y'all have a big old weekend, and uh, catch you next week, later.